good. It stinks. Thank you again, Rocky Balboa, because that stink you hear or smell it, I should say, is coming. Oh, not from the dump. Not from the landfill. Not from your garbage can in your garage with the Christmas meal still in it. It's coming from MetLife. And it's not coming from the jet side of the stench, because that's a different stench on its own. It's coming from the giant stench. And the stench is bad. The stench is horrible. The stench is just, it is, it is putrid to say the least. It makes you want to vomit. But you know what? John Mayer has a plan. That plan is to bring Joe Judge and Daniel Jones back. Even after the 34-10 debacle. And I forgot to say it. It's the day after the debacle. Because we always say that. And I'm tired of saying that every Monday. I've said it before. Let's, let's one day start it nice. I don't even think we could beat the Bears. That's how bad I think this team has regressed. That's how horrible this team has gotten. People will sit there and go, well, it was 3-3 three, three at halftime. The defense played well. No, the defense did not play well. The Philly offense didn't play well. The Philly offense missed opportunities. The Philly offense fumbled. Interceptions made mistakes. They probably should have, tw- it should have probably been 21-3. If not more than that, if Slay doesn't drop that interception that was thrown right to him. So the de- you, you can take a look at the first half as a moral victory. That was a moral victory. I know there was moral victories in football. I thought there was winners and losers, and we are losers. Philadelphia, who I predicted wouldn't win more than four games, has won eight. The Giants, who I predicted would win six to seven games, has won four. And we're probably going to be stuck at that total. And then you get the news that Joe Judge is going to come back, and he's going to help mold and cultivate the internal staff. All right, so because all the coaches that he hired that have failed and failed this team and failed this organization and failed the player development, that worked out really well. So we're going to have year three of a dumpster fire. I have no hope in year 2022. I have no hope. And this video, of course, is entitled, This is our hope at the end of the tunnel in 2022. And we're going to talk about that for a second. But how can you affect change? How can you, as a giant fan, as a season ticket holder, as, as even just the, the casual fan effect change. And the title says it all. Don't buy, don't go, don't show. You want to affect change? Affect mirror and tish in the pocketbook. The last game of the season, don't show up. Stay home. Don't watch. Don't buy that jersey. Don't buy that hat. Just don't. You think about it, don't do it. Take your kids to the zoo. That's fun to do in the winter. It really is, actually. I'm not being facetious, especially if you've ever been to Philadelphia Zoo in the winter sometimes. Sometimes they're open. Go, 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 go to the mall. Go, go, go. Just take a walk with your family. Just don't watch. Turn the TV off. Don't buy that jersey. Don't buy that hat. Don't buy that sweatshirt. Don't show up. Make a statement to Mara that this is not acceptable. Hit him where it hurts. Hit him in the pocketbook. Because they've hit us where it hurts for the last 10 years, and that's in the heart. It's an organization that just doesn't seem to get it, can't seem to get out of their own way, can't find a direction. The, you want to call them a rudderless, a, rudder, a rudderless ship? You can, but the problem is, I don't even think we have a ship, let alone a rudder. We are waiting in the ocean. A failure. That's what this is. And it's a failure via ownership. If I was Tish, I would be pissed. You said two years ago, we need to affect change, or he is going to try to step in. Well, if change is keeping Daniel Jones and Joe Judge, there's no change. I said it in the stream yesterday. You could like Daniel Jones. He's probably a good kid. I don't know. Don't know him personally. But he's a quarterback of moments. He has flashes, but he has moments. He has moments where he looks like he's going to play well. He has moments where he does things correctly. He has moments where you think he could be a starting quarterback. But the problem is those moments are too fleeting. We don't need a quarterback of moments. We need a quarterback of consistency. We need a quarterback of change. We need a quarterback that can put this team on his back and carry them. 
I've said it a million times, especially for the younger fans, we got spoiled with Eli Manning. You had Eli Manning for all those years, and a lot of times that's all some Giant fans know is Eli Manning. So they think every quarterback we draft is going to be Eli Manning. It doesn't work that way. Sometimes you fail. Sometimes you swing and a miss. Lots of swing and a miss. Sometimes you have to go through the quarterback desert be fine before you find your Messiah, Malik Willis. But you need change. You need a new direction. And you have to assume, and this is a big assumption, that Kevin Abrams is probably going to take over as a general manager because what quality general manager is going to want to come in here and tell you you can't pick your head coach and you can't pick your quarterback? Oh, and by the way, we got a little salary cap problem in 2022, which was caused by our general manager, Kevin Abrams. It's the second time, like, in seven years. And yeah, you got two high draft choices, but now one has fallen underneath 10. There's already dropped to eight because of the Bears win. That'll drop even lower when the Bears beat us. <laughs> at least our other one's going on. At least we're cat. I love it because even the New York Post, well, at least the Giants are catching the Jets when it comes to the higher draft choice. Wow, that's not really something to hang your head on. <laughs> that's really not something to say. Well, that's awesome. I said it before my wife said it best during the game. The, the announcer said it on the game, too. The Giants quit. The Giants looked defeated going into that third quarter. They looked like they quit. And that's an indication of their feelings towards Joe Judge, to the organization, and to playing. They're, they're playing for a paycheck. Paycheck players. Said it a million times. As the season is wrapping up and we have, mercilessly, and we have two games left, is there any hope for any type of change this year? No. We all know Gettleman's out. They're going to, of course, have an exhausted search for the new general manager. It's probably going to end up with Kevin Abrams. Because like I said, who of any quality, unless a guy, unless you grab a guy from New England, and the New England way just does not work here. The, way, the New England way works best when you have a guy named Belichick. So it really should be more the Belichick way. But what can, I mean, there's nothing to expect. There's nothing to play for. You have your $72 million receiver who can't catch a touchdown. You've got the king of the almost sacks. This has five and a half sacks again. Who, who plays, who plays, who disappears quite extensively during games. I believe one subscriber said it looks like sometimes he's playing patty cake, which it does. Not wrong. I think myself and a bunch of other people, I know it was me, I said don't give him more than $11 million and then let him walk because he's going to wreck the cap in 2022. Oh, well, geez, what could possibly happen there? Same with the Dory Jackson, same with Kenny. Same with Kyle Rudolph. I love when Kyle had that big play, the 60-yard run. People are like, oh, look at that 60-yard run. That, that's what more we need to do. No, he, he can't do that because he can't get open. He's washed up. Said that when we signed him. He's washed up. You could see it the last two years in Minnesota. You have a nice combination with Ojolari and Roche. You have a nice little combination there. I think you can build upon. Adore Jackson, oh, no, excuse me, uh, James Bradbury looks like he's losing a step. Logan Ryan looks like he more than lost a step. And like I said, if you look at this defensive effort in the first half and go, well, they held him to three points. No, <laughs> Philadelphia held himself to three points. They, they shot themselves in the foot. They made their own mistakes. Jalen didn't look... J, J, they, you, could, you could almost look like they had the fatigue from playing on Tuesday. But 2022... What can we say? What can we do? What can, what can we expect? I expect another train wreck. I expect another four-win season. And I've always said I don't like pronosticating records or the draft or anything until certain periods of time. But I, you could see this fire, this forest fire continuing. It's burning out of control. And unless something happens and someone steps in and someone does something, to wrangle the reins away from Mara, it's going to continue. It's going to continue to suck. It's going to continue to be bad. And if anyone can sit there and say Joe Judge is the answer, you're asking the wrong question. The only correct answer for Joe Judge is, should Joe Judge be fired? Or what giant head coach should be fired? Joe Judge. This team has regressed. It's gotten worse. And him, him himself, if you look at his body of work this season along, you would figure as a second-year head coach who was basically learning on the job with year one, you would have learned more things. 
I still love it. Throw the red flag after the extra point to challenge the play before the extra point and say, well, I only did it to get the referee's attention. Uh, Joe, they already kicked the extra point. You could walk onto the field and go talk to the referee. Play it stops. <laughs> oh, there's just so many things wrong. There's so many things that you want to be excited about, but you can't. But you know, you know, it's got to be don't buy, don't go, don't show. Make a statement in the Washington game. I, people ask me, was this, it was 17 worse? No, this is worse than 17. This is truly worse than 17. I was at the last Washington game, New Year's Eve in 17. I was at that game. It was like negative 14 degrees. I posted pictures on that game. I've stood, I stood on that damn field the entire game. That's when I got the JPP hat, skull cap. Because I felt there was hope. I also felt it was probably Eli Manning's last year with the Giants, which it wasn't. But you felt there was hope. You felt there was going to be a direction. You felt that something anew was going to happen. Who knew that it was just going to get worse and then progressively get worse? We are the laughing stock of the NFL. Luckily, I live in the tri-state Pennsylvania area, Philadelphia area. I have to deal with the, I have to deal with the Eagle fans because <laughs> their coach lost a press conference by one eight games. And it's fighting for a playoff spot. We're fighting for, we're fighting with the Jets to get a higher draft choice. That alone should make you sick as a Giant fan. Don't buy, don't go, don't show. Make a statement. Make a plan. I was thinking about it uh, this morning. I always give away the super chats. I give that away to charity, and the most of the money that I get from the channel, I pump back into the channel. You know, buying sound equipment, buying mugs and T-shirts and stuff like that to give out to the subscribers. But I think December's revenue, I'm just going to donate to charity as well. And I think anyone that's on YouTube that makes anything, you know what? Make a statement. Donate that money to charity. Why not? Show the Giants you don't even want that revenue because Giants have a disdain for giant YouTubers anyways. Show them that you don't want the revenue. Well, I'm going to do it. I don't know who I'm going to donate it to. I probably will donate to fill up Children's Hospital, but I don't know. It'll go to another charity. Give it away. Show the Giants that we don't need it. We don't want it. We want change. That's what the direction we want. Don't buy. Don't go. Don't show. Again, this is Tim with the Online Big Blue, bringing you the best in New York Giants sports talk and entertainment. And as always, if you could like, maybe subscribe. Bring the big news. That'd be awesome.